Bye, you check. Bye, you check. Bye, you check. Bye, 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 all right, show the wall. Show, show the wall. wall. Before we begin this camp, we want to give infinite praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Double honors to the elders and apostles, the great Muslim that rule well and taught us this truth. Salutations to the whole for the elect scattered abroad, preaching his word and his doctrine in truth, honesty, and sincerity. We are the brothers from the Miami GMS camp, coming back once again to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim El Shai to preach his word. Wake up the whole for the elect, started with the 144,000. All right? I know one in this camp yet a fine brother. I'm a pass it to the brother Gabor, the electrifying speaker. I know one in your buzz be edified. All right? Shut <laughs> so, up. Uh, you know, we just go roll through the spirit, man. And, um, you know, like the Lord said, uh, uh, go to the lost sheep of Israel, all right, and preach the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's what, that's what we're doing. And the things that we're going to speak about is pertaining to the gospel, uh, con contrary to popular belief. Yep. Okay? Let me get a uh, Revelation 3, where it says, um, he that overcometh, I will give power over the nations. All right, because slavery is a part of the good news. Somebody hold Isaiah 61. We're going to read the, what is the gospel? What is the good news? Yes, what, are, what, what, what did the Lord tell us to, to preach? Revelation 2, Salapia. To preach to our people. All right? We're going, we're going to start off with that. Because slavery is a very controversial topic. All right? But it seems like when the white man, the devil, Esau, Edom, he can put everybody in slavery. But when it comes to so-called black people, Hispanic people, Native American people, being slave owners, everybody has a fucking problem with that. Well, guess what? The Bible says this, man. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 26. And he that overcometh. Overcometh what? Overcometh the world. Overcome, really, yourself. Yep. All right? You got to overcome yourself, man. You got to change. You got to want to be better. You got to be like Matthew 25. The, the, the wise versions, man. Yep. You got to be transformed. The Lord didn't give you this truth so you don't, so you don't change. If you don't change, you ain't getting delivered, my man right. and sister. Sisters too. It's more. It's a lot of sisters that are coming, going to come into this truth too. Yep. All right, you got to change too. All this uh, a selfie shit and the, and, the, and the pride that the, the world puts on you. All right, you got to change. If I may say, we back you up. Yahweh Shai told Nicodemus, except a man be born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's what that means. You got to change, have a change of mind. That's right. You got to change, man. All right. You got to want to be better. That is a constant uh, 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 thing that's going on in the truth. It's changing. Yep. Wanting to be better. Uh, quick, quick, no, 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 no. Well, we're going to start off with that. You stay with me. And keepeth my works unto the end. Mm -hmm. To him will I give power. Over the nations. All right, we got, uh, 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 well, we got eight, we got 17 other nations, man. Yep. 17 other nations. That's what he's talking about, to rule over. 17. That's what he's talking about. He's talking about dominion, power, glory. Mm -hmm. that, that is what? Pertaining to the Israelites. Uh, what's that? Romans 9 speaks about that. Yeah. We're going to pull that too. Who had a free? What? Mm-hmm. Um, this is Colossians chapter 3. Alright, verse 9. It says, Lie not one to another. No, start at uh, 1. Right, one. Okay, go to 1. Colossians chapter 3, verse 1. Matter of fact, matter of fact, hit your point. Hit your point. Yeah. Colossians chapter 3, verse 9. It says, Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds. And have put on a new man, which renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Yeah, because he puts his spirit inside of you. Right? If anybody knows about the box, see, scientists have been coming out with this information about a man and a woman. When a man's seed goes into a woman, what happens? Exactly. That, that, that DNA goes into that woman all the way up into her brain. So when the Lord put his spirit inside of you, 
That's a, that's like unto a marriage. Yahweh is also known as what? The what? The bride? The bridegroom, man. All right? And we're his brides. Okay? Yeah, if I may say that, to back you up, brother, hey, the Israelite man, hey, we have that antenna to God, all right? That that spiritual connection, okay? And hey, when the Lord puts his spirit upon us, hey, that connection grows even uh, uh, stronger, man. Okay? Yep. To back you up. Uh, me yeah, I got something. Revelation chapter 21, verse 7, to back up. Revelation, the second chapter. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and that will be his power, and he shall be my son. That's right. So that starts with the elect, like the mother's going into. You know, it starts with overcoming yourself, putting off that old man and putting on that new man, all right? And also overcoming what this beast. Man, he saw the enemy, the enemy, man. That's right. Man. That's right. Oh, see, the Lord, he's a righteous God, righteous power. Right. He said that if you do this, I'm going to give you this. Right. If you do this, I'm going to give you this. He ain't just telling us to do something and just do it. Even though he can. Because <laughs> he, he created us and we he, we belong to him. But he's, he's saying, if, he's giving us a, a reward for it. So if we, we actually have... What motivates a man? When you go to work and they give you some bonuses to well, what? To perform well. Right, right. You got a bonus to perform well, right. which is you're going to inherit the earth. Right. Hey, uh, right. shit. Uh, what you got? Uh, Sounds got... Sound, sound too, right? Sounds too, that's a wrap. Uh, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 2. If the brother was speaking about the other, the other 17 nations, they, they don't work for us. This is Psalms, chapter 2, verse 8. It says, Ask of me. And I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. The Lord telling his son, he's going to give the heathens uh, to his son for inheritance, but we're going to be joint heirs with his son. It says, Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Who's that? So we're going to possess the, uh, the, 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 the heathens, man. That's right. That's right. We're going to be joint heir with Yahushai. It right. says, Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, thou shalt dust them in pieces like a part of the vessel. Okay, because they're gonna have to keep our law, statutes, and commandments, and when they go off, <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna be, uh, 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 they're gonna, they're gonna be, uh, 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 what's the word I want to use? They're gonna be admonished, man. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. if everybody's equal, and Jesus is all love, who the fuck are we gonna beat? Who are we gonna dash to pieces? Right. Who are we gonna kick and push and spit right. on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, yes, we're gonna do that. Yeah. All right. It's written. It's written. All right, the devil did it to us. He's still doing it to our people. Esau is still beating our people up, still kicking them, still shooting them down in the streets. The, pump, the cops pull them over. Yep. He's still doing it. Yep. Uh, who had it one? I got uh, a scripture to back up the point you was making about, you know, when you got a job, you got different benefits. Those benefits really yep. make you go hard. That's right. You know? yep. Hey, First Corinthians 9 and 24. Now ye know, like, know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiving the prize, mm -hmm. so run that ye may obtain. Right. That's what we're doing, we're running. So we may obtain the ultimate prize, which is salvation. Right. Okay, verse 25, this is the point. That every man that strives for the mastery is uh, temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an uncorruptible. All right, hey, you got, for example, the NBA, all right, the NFL, they go hard, to get what? Hey, the the Super Bowl ring, right, all right? right, right. <laughs> the championship uh, ring, they go hard for that. And that's corruptible. Right. That's gonna die here. Right, right. The scripture say what? The fashion of this world passes away? Wait, that right, shit right. gonna die here. That's right, well, we are. Okay? But we going hard for a, a incorruptible crown, right, right. which is salvation, having multiple wives, never dying, right. having peace, right. okay? I was just thinking about that the, the other day, man. Um, Literally never dying again. That's something major. Just that one thing alone. Never dying again. That's major. We never got to experience experience never dying, man. We never got to experience. That's what bump you out. Never dying? The scripture speaks about what's laid up for us, the treasure of immortality. Yep. That's a part of the promise, man. Right. Yep. Yeah, that was it. Uh, Put this off for Revelation, the second chapter. 
verse uh, chapter 2 verse 27 and he shall rule them with a rod of iron these other nations all right these heathens starting with Esau as the vessels of potter of a potter shall they be broken to shivers even as I receive of my father so I want to get that oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah so when your house shall get back all right just who everybody calls Jesus that person is going to beat, beat up a lot of people okay all right all right, this is what your Christian pastor is not going to tell you, okay? Yeah. He's going to kill a lot of people. He's going to beat up a lot of people. And we're going to beat up a lot of people, too. That's right. right. <laughs> Isaiah 65 and uh, 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 66 and 15 says, The slain of the Lord shall be many. These things are written in the scriptures, man. We're not speaking our own words. We're speaking what the scriptures say. Uh, real quick, the uh, NLT. Let me go. If I may make a quick point. Hey, a beating has to come. It, a beating is a part of us receiving our kingdom. We got to beat these nations, man. All right? We have to beat them before we, we receive our kingdom, which is what? His saints shall take the kingdom. Right. That comes with a beating. Yep. Okay? It comes with a beating. Somebody got to get their ass war. Right. When you have war, when we read the scriptures about war, what, they kill the men, and then they take everything over, right? That's right. right. And what? The final war is coming, and we're going to have a, we're going to be a part of that war. Right. Okay? So we say, uh, Thus with violence, that great city Babylon shall be thrown down. Exactly. Real quick in the NOT. Um. That was a uh, what verse again? And the NOT, they will rule the nations with an iron rod and smash them like clay pots. Alright, so you know how clay, when you drop it, is, is fragile. Right. But that's how these nations are going to crack, man, because we're going to be gods ruling this world. And we're going to put these heathen into subjection. Just look at the way they, look at, look at what they eat, man. Look at all the abominable shit that they do. They got to be put into subjection. They got to get beat into place. Y'all better Isaiah chapter 14 verse 21 it says prepare, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers that they do not rise or possess the land nor put a base of the wall with cities alright somebody got to pay for the time that you know these, these nations did unto the, um, to the nation of Israel man alright you know you are your fourth fathers coming back man all right, henceforth, that's why you're going to have to go into slavery, man. Right. Yeah. Because also say, hey, meditate terror. Yeah. Okay? We're going to put hell on you um, heathen nations, man. Start with Esau, you know, Esau Edom, man, the so-called white man, man. Right. That's the future. And people may say, like, you know, people may get offended and mad because we speak the way we speak. But, hey, the people say, it's a righteous thing to see the downfall of your enemy. So you should desire to see the downfall of your enemy. If you're not in that spirit, that means you're in the wrong spirit. Right. You're not in the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Right. Because Yahweh Shai want to come back and rule with his brothers. All right? He wants Esau to go into captivity. Yep. Yep. So if you're not in that spirit, you're off, bro. If you don't want this to happen, you're off. You're an antichrist. Right. You're an anti-Messiah. Yep. All right? If you don't want Yahweh Shai to come back and beat people up and have his kingdom, you're wicked. You're wicked. This is the king of Israel, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 1, verse 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. You know, it's only right. Look what they did to us, man. The Willie Lynch labor, Gator Bait, you know, Pick a Nigger. You know, they did all these devious things to us. So it's only right we put belt to ass to them. Righteousness. Righteousness. That's right. Go ahead, uh, I'm the one. All right, this is going into, um, hey, the benefits of uh, a slave and how it's a righteous thing. It's the book of Isaiah 14 and 2. It says, and the people shall take them and bring them into their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them. And who's the them? It's talking about those 17 other nations. Okay? It said, it shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Okay, so, yeah. The same way, you know, we had to build up your nation, is the same way that you're going to have to build up our nation. It's going to be done in righteousness. Yeah, you know, you pay 
Yeah. It's a car work they ass off. Yep. Uh, building these damn houses and shit. Yep. It's about to fuck you devils up in the kingdom. Yep. Yeah. You gonna you gonna have yeah. hey it's a car go you know they got a lot of children yeah. too man. Oh yeah. It's a car go had Esau building so many damn uh uh uh, uh mini castles mini castles and yeah. shit. Yeah. Boy you devils gonna gonna die from exhaustion. Yeah. <laughs> hey, when, you ain't getting no straw hat in the kingdom, Esau. Right, right. Your ass gonna be red as hell. <laughs> <laughs> the scripture speaks about continual employment. Your yeah. ass gonna be red. They're gonna yeah. be working. Ain't gonna be no straw hats for no damn Edomites. Nope. Right. No 30 minute breaks either. Nah, hell no. Nah. Yeah, ain't no 15 minute breaks. No, cigarette. no vacation, <laughs> no cigarette breaks. We're gonna work the shit out of Esau, boy. No sick days. <laughs> I dare nigga say, I dare nigga say I'm sick. Sick days. Sick days. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna you make you, you something right here. Uh, give me, um, give me Isaiah 61. We'll start at the time. This is the good news. This is the gospel. Mm -hmm. Slavery is a part of the gospel. That's right. right. Okay. Isaiah chapter 61, the first verse. The spirit of the Lord Yahweh is a the Lord repeated this in the New Testament. It's in red letter. What did he get the, the gospel from? This. Right. All right. They didn't just make up a, 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 they wasn't just walking the earth, making up stuff, man. They was quoting from the Old Testament. Right. The, Lord, the Lord come in the volume Ooh, of the book. Sorry, y'all. The, the whole book is of the Lord, man. Sorry. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. The spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, is upon me because the Lord have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Yep. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. Who's, who's captive? The Israelites. We are yeah. Israelites, man. This is speaking about a specific group of people. That's right. And you know, he said that 2,000 years ago, and we're still captive. Right. Right. <laughs> Damn, boy. Group three and eight. We're, hey, yeah. boy. We still, the, the same. We're in a worse condition than we were 2,000 years ago. Yep. Oh my God. Way worse. Way worse. Jake don't even know that they're Israelites. That's how, right. That's how way bad. worse. Could you imagine if everybody knew they were Israelites? It, it wouldn't make a fucking difference. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Cause Jake would still be wicked as hell. Yeah. You, we, we want everybody to wake up, but 2,000 years ago, them niggas knew that they were Israelites and they still they said crucify yeah. So the Lord is going to get rid of you niggas, man. That's that, 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 that pork, right? That's that, 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 that pork. Right now. That pork. Uh, you're soaking pork. <laughs> soaking pork. Soaking Coca-Cola. Coca Coca he, he, he said, oh, the ham is my favorite the ham. That's my favorite. Oh, my own private glaze. <laughs> These doo dogs. That's my own special glaze on it. But he's he's calling on the name of Yahweh Yahweh Shai, a glorified eater. Well, at least he reverenced the Lord. He said, "Hey, this is Yahweh Shai Sangaria." Yahweh Shai Sangaria. Well, I tell you, Jake, Jake. Hey, well, you gonna burn, man. Right, I was shy, man, as shit. Hey, you, you know, your ass might not even make it to the damn missus. You might not, huh? Look like a nigga can't even walk, bro. Right. Bro, you look, you, bro, you through, man. He's a demon, like, he's a demon, he's, he's just, his vessel's being, he's a demon in the vessel. He's, he's gone already. Yeah, he gone. The demon just controlling him. He got that, he got a strong demon on him. He was like, ah, 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 You see the demon in the eyes. Yeah, that nigga, he through. <laughs> hey, you through. Hey, yeah. brothers, don't even get mad at that nigga, man, because he yeah, gonna die. Bro. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, it's just, whatever, bro. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> right. Fuck the zombies that were with him, too. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Curse. Go ahead, bro. Curse. That's it. There you go. Curse. Yeah. Right, uh, back to Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1. To proclaim liberty to the captives. <laughs> I, th I think it's, I thought it was Nico came back for another dose. I don't, I don't know who the fuck this is. Yeah, there was one Nico, man. Hey, next time we come up, go with a garment. Next time you're going to get cursed out. We'll be nice to his ass. Right. Right. Shit. We're going to ask his ass, did you fucking repent yet? Right. right. Now I got a couple hundred thousand more to pay. All right. All right. Go ahead, bro. Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1. No, you're going verse 2. Right? Yeah, verse 1. Oh, yeah. to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. 
boy. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our power. That's what we're doing. We're saying that the Lord is going to take vengeance on our enemies. Okay? And, and we're, oh, we're, 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 we're preaching the good news to the captives. That's right. This is good news. We're telling you the Lord is going to come and save his people. He's going to pay back the Edomites for kicking your ass. You got a kingdom. You're going to live forever. What the fuck, man? I mean, if you tell a nigga all that and he say, yeah, you just got to die. Yep. I had one Jay tell me, man, I don't want no slaves, man. I just want one wife and no slaves. Yeah, he ain't fucking right. We had a nigga like that. Now, that's what Spell about to say. Nigga say he don't, he don't want no uh, a woman in the kingdom. We had a nigga like that around us. Lord got him the fuck away. Yeah, get that shit out of here, man. You, you, got, a, you, you got an unclean spirit on you, brother. <laughs> right. Because if, if your Hawashi spirit is, is inside of you, you're going to conform to him, right? right. No. And your Hawashi wants a slave. Right. right. All right? He going to get the cream of the crop slaves. That's right. Yeah. The, the, you know how uh, Esau was like the big strong. He wanted the big strong ones. Right? Right, right. He would pay more for them. Robust. Well, yeah. your house is gonna get them big, them big caveman ass Edomites. Right. right. He the king. You know. He's he gonna king. get them first. The knuckle dragon. <laughs> the knuckle dragon. Yeah. yeah, a couple of them gonna pick up trees and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Best Cheating ladies, <laughs> best gifts, he best gonna, women. He gonna get the first fruits of right. everything in life. That's right. right? Yep. That's right. Hey, and it's enough to go around, brother. So that's right. what we fight for. Trust, man. He gonna he gonna give gifts too. Yeah, he gonna right? look out for his brothers. <laughs> he gonna look out for us. He, you know, we joy heirs. Right. Go when we enter into that with him, man. Right. That's right. You know, the first go round. All right. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. It says, and the day of vengeance of our power. One four four. Call oh, on no, 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 no. That's a spirit. That's a spirit. It said, hey, how shall I back you? <laughs> it's a linen service. He, he, he backed that. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. right. The Lord just backed that. That's right. Clothed <laughs> in white. Clothed in white, baby. Right. Right. To comfort all that mourn. Who's the most sorrowful people on the planet Earth? Yeshaya. Israelites. Let him, he said, let him answer, right? Who's the most sorrowful people? People that always got an issue. People that always can't catch a break. The most jailed. Who? It's, it's us. The poorest. The sickest. Who needs the most help? If anybody needs a God, it's it, this is the Israelites. It's people, yeah. Yep. Say we, are, we are petrifying sores. Yep. We need ointment. We need to be healed. Yeah, modified. From the sole of the foot to the crown of the head. That's right. Yeah, man. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. La, la, la. Hold on. Let me put this Verse 3. <laughs> to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. In Zion. Who is that, Ezra Zion. In Zion. Who was that talking about? Huh? No. 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 It's alright, bro. It's all good. Don't read that again. Yeah, read it again. Go ahead. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. Oh. Who, who does who does Zion represent? Zion represents. Who Zion represents, Kali? Who does Zion represent? Nation Israel. There you go, Nation Israel. I would mean so to mourn in Israel. No, no, no. Zion. We said who does Zion, Zion represent? Zion represents the Israelites. Right. Yeah, when the scriptures speak about, about Zion, right. it's speaking about Israel. Like when you read the scriptures, you know, you got Jerusalem, you got Israel. What it's going to say, what brothers like to say a lot? Hey, when it comes to Jerusalem and other places, there's a people before a place. You know, it's like so Zion. I'm going to pull that scripture for oh, real quick. So Okay. You know where is that? Which one? Second, uh, second Maccabees. First Maccabees. First Maccabees. Five. Five. five nineteen. Right. I think it's nineteen. Zion is us. Where is Zion? Zion? It's where the art of people there. Yeah, yeah. The people represent. We represent the place, right? Basically, because it made the Lord made it's the made place for, for the people, right? Right. The scripture said that the, the, the earth was made for our sakes. All right. So if you got that, well, you got remember. We're up here to, 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 to prophesy, and if you got questions, ask them. Right. Hey, yeah. if I may ask you, right, when you think about Babylon, who do you think as the face of Babylon? As the face of Babylon? Yeah, when you think about Babylon, Babylon the Great, who's the face of it when it, come, when it comes to your mind? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So who's the face of, of, of Jerusalem? Zion. Right. The Israelites. The Israelites. That's all right. I am, bro. <laughs> yeah, Zion. Makes sense? Meaning memorial. Yeah. All right. 
You don't need, you don't need to think too hard, huh? <laughs> you don't need to think too yeah, hard. Yeah, <laughs> This is the book of 2nd Maccabees, chapter 5, starting at verse 19. We're not trying to put you on the spot, brother. We're just trying to edify you. Okay. Right. So you can go home with a, with a full meal. That's right. Okay. I got one more. Level up. Back up that point. Go ahead. The book of Second Maccabees, chapter five, starting at verse nineteen. I know we steering, we steering the topic a little bit, but it's all through the school. Never find you. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Go ahead, brother. It says uh, once again, Second Maccabees five nineteen. Nevertheless, the Most High did not choose the people for the place's sake, but the place for the people's sake. That's why he said Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Real quick, this uh, second Ezra chapter six and verse uh, fifty-five. It says, "All this have I have spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes." That's right. He made the world for our sakes. So when the Most High in the, the Alahayim, I mean, so, my bad. When Yahawashai and the angels, the Alahayim, the powers, the gods, the rulers, the judges, were creating the earth. First and foremost, when the Most High made the blueprint, right. when the Most High gave the blueprint to the, to the judges, to, right. the, to the Allah to the Bowels. Right. You know what I mean? yeah. So when he was making the blueprint of, 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 of the earth and the galaxies and the stars and the moon, he chose that, he had us in mind, even though we weren't even created yet. Yep. Read that again. Second Maccabees chapter five, starting at verse 19, it reads, nevertheless, the Most High did not choose the people for the place's sake, but the place for the people's sake. So when he made the place, he had in mind, I'm gonna put my people in it. This right. is where I want my people to live. Right. Okay? Yeah, that's why that's why Ephesians, the first chapter, say they're predestinated before the foundation of the world. So the most high thought of he thought about us, every single last one of us before he created us. Right. Yep. First before first. we before we even were even born created. The Most High loves us, man, individually. Because right. he had to think about you before he created you. Right. And he gave you your traits, your personality, your spirit. Right. He He formed you, man. Well, you know, when you create... Hold on, brother. Right. <laughs> Let me get my sentence right. out. Right. Right. <laughs> when, when he formed... When you... When you... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, yeah, yeah. Repent. Yes, repent. Right. All right. <laughs> You see, you, you tell somebody to repent, they buck up. That's right. how you, that's, but that's how you get somebody. Right. Give me Hebrew 4 and 12 real quick. You know, fuck them. Uh, right. Anyway, when you create something, and you form it. Go ahead, you no, say, I, was, I was gonna say, that was the black woman. Yeah, of course. Right. So, you know, she needed to repent, man. Right. When, you no, you you got good when you create something and you form it, you're fashioning it in your own way. Yep. In which that is an intimate process. You know, when a part is, it's just you in that, Think that that object, All right? Go ahead, brother. Yeah, I was saying when the scriptures say uh, uh, we love him because he first loved us. He first loved us. That's the whole point. He thought about us, like we do speaking out. Yep, right. Yep. So the Most High loves us more than we love ourselves. Right. Yes. All right. Yep. And that's love. Even though sometimes we, be, you know, you be like, damn Lord, like I need you right now. And, the Lord, he love you more than you love yourself. Right. You can't love yourself more than God loves you. Right. Every, do you know how many hairs on your head you got? No. Right. No, but he do. Right. You belong to him. Go ahead, brother. <clears throat> yeah. Isaiah. Back to Isaiah chapter 61, verse 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. That's why when, uh, when, the, when the Ezra was asking about uh, the, his, the people, the angel rebuked them. Do you love these people more than God? Mm, that's the spirit. spirit. I, I spirit. was I just thinking about, thinking about that. Do you? Do you? <laughs> that's the spirit. You don't. So don't worry about them. You cannot love the nation of Israel more than the person that created them. Right. <clears throat> Matter of fact, let's get that scripture. Mm -hmm. the second Ezra. <coughs> We don't love the, so the Israelites that are, you know, oh my gosh, everybody want to be saved. Look, man, you didn't create these people, all right? You don't feed them every day. They don't belong to you. They belong to the Most High. And he's going to do what he wants to do with them. And with two-thirds of his people, the ones he created, have not the, the pot of power over the clay. And he's going to, he's basically going to destroy his people, two-thirds of them. 
And nobody can say, Lord, why are you doing this, Lord? That's what he want to do. So, uh, second Ezra chapter 5, verse 33. And I said, Speak on, my Lord. Then said he unto me, Thou art saw trouble in mind for Israel's sake. Hey, the angel was like, but man, you 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 stressing yourself, man. You tweaking too hard, oh, bro. You you and you your mind is this you would Ezra was in distress. Yeah. It says, <laughs> Lovest thou that people better than he that made them? Cut him. You if you hear that, that you cut. I know he right. cut. We all men. Right. Yeah. Angels, dang. Right, right. <laughs> right. Right. Go ahead. Verse 34 says, And I said, No, Lord, but but a very but a very grieve I have I spoken, for my reins pain me every hour while I labor to comprehend the way of the most high and to seek out part of his judgment. Can't okay. be too far out, man. The ways of the most high is too far out. Alright? It says wise. <laughs> That's the spirit. Most high, the most high is too far out. The most high, his ways are higher than, than our ways. We can't figure out the most high. We will never figure out the most high. Okay. Even in the kingdom, we won't know everything. Now, we're going to be opened up, but there's always going to be something new to learn in the kingdom. Yep, right. Because the most high is infinite. Right. If you're, if you, you can't be like the most, if you on the same level as the most high, then that doesn't make him the most high. Right. He's exactly. the highest. He's the highest, so he's infinite. Right. He's he's the only one self-existing. Right. Everything else lives off of him. Right. Yeah, something you had. I just had a piece of the back of what you were saying. This is Isaiah fifty-five and nine. It says, "For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts." Go ahead, break it down. Right, so we can't be, we can't begin to fathom or to comprehend the thought process of the process of the Habash and have shot, man. Ezra tried to. He tried. But to. It was it was bugging him out. Right, and this is when the Lord started asking questions. Yeah. Can you weigh the fire? Oh, Job, he would beat the hell out of Job. Right. Yeah. Sheesh. Right. I felt bad for him when I was reading Job. Yeah. But at thirty-eight, I oh. kind of felt bad for him, and that happened a long time ago. Right. Because the most high was demanding an answer from him. Right. right. You, what you going? You going to ignore the Lord? Right. He said, answer me. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he told me, I, I, I don't know, Lord. Speechless. He can't say nothing. And that's, the, that's the best stance to take sometimes, man. You know, because he was going through it. And he didn't understand. And the, and the Lord had to come down in the chariot. Right. right. <laughs> and set him straight. That's how you be with your kids, though. Your yeah. kids start complaining and going through some shit. Like, man, be quiet. You don't know. You don't, yeah. you know? Yeah. You don't know what you're talking about. You're, 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 in a, talking about. you're in a damn toy store crying, oh, my toy, my toy, my toy. <laughs> Not knowing it's a recall on the toy. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Can't get that toy. Right. Oh, right. my daddy, I can't get the toy. Be quiet. Yeah. You cut his ass, they quiet. You know? Right. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, Daddy knows. The damn, the damn re toy got a recall <laughs> on it. Choking right. hazard. Choking hazard. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> but you don't know that because you. You and you know, I just want the toy. Right, right. <laughs> you, you, you deep in folly. You yeah. just want to, you know, have you know, fun and shit. I want the Hellcat. I want a Hellcat. The Hellcat's right. going to kill you, man. Right. <laughs> right. You no, know, I'm not giving you a Hellcat because you're going to crash and die. Right. Okay? It's, it's the Lord's job. To, he's going to keep us away from that. That's right, brother. Some brothers think you want a bad bitch. The bad bitch is going to get you out the truth, brother. Yep. Yep. Okay? The better the bitch, the better she is. <laughs> the Lord is protecting us from these Warren things, Tyson. man. All right? You want a better job. You want a better job. Yeah. You want to be a rap star. You want money. Yeah. That's it. Don't sift your ass out the truth, man. And yeah. you don't even know. Yeah. Nah, bro. Nah, 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 nah. I'm going to be able to yeah, handle it. I'm going to handle it, Lord. Yeah, all right. I'm going to handle it. See, if the Lord loves you, he ain't going to give it to you anyway. Right. Okay? But whatever we don't have, we just be content right. and grateful for whatever the Lord gives us. That's right. You know? Yep. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, just the book of Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33 it says but seek ye first the kingdom of the most high and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you right so the first thing we need to be doing is, is focused on the, the kingdom man focus on the will of your how about me how shy and everything else that you're looking for it's gonna come but right now we got a job to do all right and that's to that's to, to teach the word to reach the elect read the book Matthew 6 33. 
going to get in the back here, but I didn't hear the last part of the word you said. Sorry, that's what you said. Go ahead. Back to Isaiah chapter 61, verse 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. That's right. And the Lord is going to be ultimately glorified in the kingdom. Because right now, we're not glorifying the Lord the way he wants us to. We're in a corruptible body. Okay? So when the Lord, when we get in the kingdom, then the Lord is going to be praised and glorified the way he's supposed to be. That's right. Because right now, we're not doing it. We made perfect. Exactly. When we be made perfect, then the Lord's going to get, okay, he's going to be like, yeah. Because the Lord wants the kingdom for us. You think the Lord want to see his people in this state? Like he enjoys this? Homeless, in the jail. Like the Lord up in the heaven, like, yeah. That's what I got in store for my people. No, man. It's just that we had to go through this. Because it was, it was already written. So we had to go through it. It's already written this way. And the scriptures speak about how the Lord is not going to go back on his word. Whatever he say, he got, he got to do it because he's bound to his word. The Most High cannot lie. It was written like this already. All, already, but in the end, this is, this, what we're experiencing is just a dot in human history. <laughs> this, that's it. This is, we're not even going to, give me that in the Psalms. We were at them that dream. This, this is, this is, See, right now, you wake up, you go to work, you wake up, you go to work, you go to sleep, you wake up. It, it's bullshit. Yeah, you're funny, right? You say, most guys don't do it. You're going to say, you're going to do it for his name's sake. That's right. Oh, give me that, too. Find me that. Anybody got a song? First one, guys, let it real. I think that's Joe. I think that's Joe. No, that's his song. I got Psalms 126. It's Psalms 126 and 1, a song of degrees. When the Lord Yahweh turned again the captivity, the captivity of Zion. What that mean? What does that mean? Turn the captivity of Zion. Uh, it's us. No, when he turned it. Turn it. Oh, turn it. Oh, return. return. Go ahead, read it again for me. Read it again. Listen, listen, brother. That's why you up here. You're not just up here standing. You're supposed to be listening. They got. You got to listen, brother. Where your phone at? Oh, where your, your Bible at, brother? It's Psalms 126 and one. When the Lord Yahweh turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Ooh. What do you mean by turn again the captivity of Zion? There you yes. go. Don't no think about it too hard. That's what I say. Hey, it's, I'm look, the Bible is 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 it's all we it's already we we're breaking it down to. Right. So it ain't it's some of it is in parable. We're not going to give you a parable right now. Right. If we give you one, it's going to be easy. Alright, because right, the same thing we're doing, you're going to have to do it to somebody else. You're going to have to teach people. That's, right. That's what the truth is about. Each one teach one. one. Alright? So, same way, you're going to come over here and then another brother going to be right there. Because this is the kingdom of heaven. That's right. Alright? Right? The kingdom of heaven is the knowledge. Right. Yeah. The truth. Alright? The gospel. That's what we're doing. One man in front of you, one man behind you. That's right. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, I'll read you. I'll continue. Verse 2. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord Yahweh have done great things for them. That's right. Yep. So we, we started laughing. Right. This is a future prophecy, man. Yep. And the nations are going to confess and actually say, these are the people of God. That's right. The Lord is dealing with them. We're going to be glorified. Right. See, right now the Israelites are not being glorified in the earth. The Lord wants the nations to glorify his people. That's right. Yep. He chose us to represent him on the planet earth. Exactly. Always and forever. We're going to represent the most high on earth. Right. So when they see an Israelite, they're going to think about the most high. Like, damn, look at the most high did for these people. Right. Damn. If I may back you up, Lamar, that's why, that's how you know this book, the book that we read, and that's how you know the Lord is the ultimate Israelite too, man. That's right. Because, hey, dealing with Jake, when you got a child, and like a mother or a father, they'll be like, hey, when you go out, you represent me. Me, yep. You right. know, you represent yep. me. That's right. Don't be out here acting a fucking fool.
Yep. You represent me. Yep. That's, right. That's how the Lord deal. Yep. That's why them nations they hiss and they laugh at us because yeah. we represent the Lord, but we acting like a fucking dickhead, man. Right. Yep. Degenerates, man. Degenerates. Oh, these are chosen people of God. Look how they act. What? Hell, that's why people can't believe it. Right. right. Hell no. If that nigga on the corner selling drugs, there ain't no way he didn't. Right. He, no, he ain't, he ain't the prince of the power. Don't. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> he ain't poor. He glorifying oh. eating pork. <laughs> what? Look hey. at that women. Them other nations, them other nations be like, shit. That nigga might be a heathen. Hey, I might be a like, I might be a like, that nigga heathen. That's why. <laughs> hey, that's why it's like, if you ever try it out for a team. And, and you ain't make the cut. You, I mean, you ain't, you ain't doing good. You get cut. Right. So the Lord is gonna take the cream of the crop of Israel, and yep. He gonna cut off yep. the fat He don't want. That's right. That's right. We ain't going into captivity for you niggas no more. Right. Facts. The Lord is giving us a glimpse of why we're here in America. Standing, feet hurting, shit. Yep. Got to get up in the morning. Yep. Right. Tired as all hell. You know, mm -hmm. niggas in the, in the cause niggas was in the groves worshiping another god. Right, right. The Lord, He didn't single. People out. He took us all in captivity. Yep. Yep. You know, you, it's like uh, in sports. If you ever play sports and, and a nigga in the back slacking, yep. we got to run extra laps for you niggas. Yep. Right. Yeah. Because of this one. Now nigga. we all got to run suicides. Yep. Right. Run back and forth because a nigga want to goof around that practice. Yep. Mad as fuck. Hey, you, you see it in the scriptures. In, uh, like in a king's, one king will go off. Everybody Come on, it. man. Like, damn, dog. Hey, you saw with David. Right. You, you, like, I would say, hey, one king will go off, and then guess what? The Lord end up judging all Israel. Yeah. Because that one king. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We got, we, the Lord can judge us as a nation. Yep. And he can judge us as an individual, individual. people. Right. Yep. But <laughs> well, when it went in slavery, the Lord sent all our ass in. <laughs> go. All you niggas, yeah, go. Get out. Right. get out my house. Go. Go. Right. Go. Out. 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 Go, go, out. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Out. Get out. Get, get out. Get out. Get out. Throwing our stuff outside. Though. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out my house. For real, you want to be grown? All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. All right. All right. Yeah. You want to be grown? Get the hell out my you house. You, you, right. you got it all figured out? All right, go. All right. <laughs> To represent you well. Yeah. That's what the Lord wants us to do. Represent you Restoration. Well. Restoration. The restoration of Israel, man. All right? The Lord is restoring us back to our original state. And it started with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Bible. All right? That's how we get back in the good graces with the Heavenly Father. By, by getting the knowledge first. We get the knowledge, then we get the power, man. We get the power, man. We got to get the knowledge first. All right? Then you get the power. The Lord ain't going to give you, he not going to give you power without knowledge. He give you the power, then you, you just a, a meathead. <laughs> you just got power. You just flying around. Just You ain't got no wisdom. You just punching shit. No, man. You got to get the wisdom first. Then you get the power. Go, uh, he was on here. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 48, verse 9. It says, For my name's sake will I defer mine anger. For my for my praise will I refrain for thee, that I cut thee not off. So whatever the Lord's going to do, he, you know, he's doing it for his name's sake. Because like the brother was saying earlier, you know, it's written already. You know, the Lord is bound by his words. Because he's, he's not a man that he should lie. He's not a son of man that he should repent. You know? There's another one here. This is Ezekiel uh, 20. Ezekiel 20, verse 22. Nevertheless, it says uh, uh, 22, 20, verse 44. Give me Ezekiel 36 and 22. Not that. Okay, I got it. Uh, it says, Therefore say unto the house of Israel, Thus said the Lord power, I do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for my holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen, whither ye went. Yeah. We're making the Lord look bad. Right, right. That's it. He's doing his first namesake. Right. That's the upper. Right. He's got his own reputation. Right. That ain't gonna make me look bad. Right. You, right. You're making me look bad. I mean, I, I'm not I'm not raising you right and I know damn well I'm raising you great. You make me look bad. That's why you that's why Lord be whooping Jake. <laughs> Yo, but the same nigga that's eating pork got kicked in Philly. Right. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> right, right. And 
he needs a what? He needs a uh, transfusion. But, 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 trans but he's and, and he and he's malak uh, dawada. And you know, you and he's malak dawada. Yeah, he, he said that's he king. He said that. Yeah. yeah. He said, oh. he said well, that's King David. Bro, malak dawada did not king have he, kid, no, no, he did not have kid, yeah. kidney cancer or whatever the fuck, man. King David. Wow. King David died of old age, bro. <laughs> For real. Come on, bro. Not of, uh, 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 of course. Because he was eating pork. Right. And you know, this nigga eat shrimp, crab, and lobster. But go ahead, man. Who was, uh, ham? And, 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 and what's so good about pork? Porks eat shit. Shrimp eats shit. <laughs> they got no well, shit. They, shit, people love shit. Yeah, right. Shit. Omen, 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 huh? There you go. Shit, <laughs> shit eaters. <laughs> right? <laughs> pig eat, pig eat anything. A dead carcass. A anything. Whatever they find. Anything. How the fuck would you eat something that eats anything? Right. Remember the old, the old saying, you are what you eat. It's nasty. You are what you eat. So if you're eating the pig, come on now. The pig is like a vulture. Vulture eats dead carcasses. Right. Right. That's the pig's job. That's his purpose to clean the earth, right. clean the ground. Swim with the shrimp and the lobster and the sea. Clean the sea. It's like, we're in, we're in, the, we're in, we're in the fourth uh, semester. All right. In the, in the curriculum, the teacher has something. The teacher has a curriculum. Something that he teaches in the first semester. And something that he teaches in the last semester. Look at this dog. What did what dog is? In the, in the passenger seat. Folly, bro. So, <laughs> all right, bro. <laughs> all right, bro. <laughs> so that's, that's all you need a king do, bro. You got a dog right in the passenger seat. Bro. Like a human. <laughs> right. So we got to go all the way back to the first, the first curriculum in the first semester and go over why, why you shouldn't eat pork. I don't want it. And we're in the fourth, this is the fourth quarter. We about to graduate. We about to get the kingdom and we got to go all the way back for you niggas and tell you, right. hey brother, you ain't supposed to eat pork. Like, nigga, damn, you should know that. Nigga, you know you ain't supposed to eat pork. <laughs> yup. Mm. God damn it, bro. You and we damn sitting down and the teacher going over the ABCs again. And we, all right, y'all, we, we got to go over the ABC. No, nah, we ain't going over that yeah, shit. You're going to die, nigga. Right, this is our last right year of college. We're college we're right. This is our last year, nigga. We seen. We about right. to get the kingdom, nigga. They want, right. they want you to go all the way nope. back we ain't going back. <laughs> a couple more months. Couple, nah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. That goes back to that. The parable song. No, you got it, brother. That whole parable with the order. The five virgins that had right. five Yeah, we're going to get into that, too. Right. Well, let me get some. Nah, nigga, you had, you had time. Nah, uh-uh. Bridegroom, the bridegroom coming. Bridegroom, bridegroom coming tomorrow. Yeah. Just gotta have spirit on you. Can't remember all that by tomorrow, bro. <laughs> 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 unclean spirits, boy. Unclean spirits, boy. Uh, go ahead, bro. I got some. Uh, this is the uh, Second Timothy. Uh, chapter three. I start at verse one. This know also that in the last days, all right, which is now we're in the last days. Perilous, perilous times shall come, which is evil days. Perilous means evil days. That's right. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Right. I'm King David. Uh, Damn. How many King Davids are there? There's a lot in Israel. I, I see. <laughs> There's a lot of King Davids in Israel. Damn. There's too many kings, man. <laughs> right. Hey, damn. Nobody want to be a priest? Right. Bruh. Nobody wants to say We need priests. Yeah. But what's... Y'all act like King David, yeah, he was the one of the top kings, but like, there's other kings that were righteous, bro. Yeah, sons. Right, Nobody yeah. want to be uh, King Asa right. or uh, Hezekiah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but they were still kings. Nobody want to be the prophets. The prophets is all for the king. Nobody, Nobody want to be a prophet, huh? I ain't hear nobody say, well, I'm, Jer right. I'm, I'm right. Jeremiah. I'm, I'm Isaiah. Yeah. Man, I ain't hear that. <laughs> you know why they want to be King David? Because King David had a thousand wives. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it was. Damn, boy. Solo, you can tell solo, that. that solo. You know King oh, David is the most, <laughs> the most spoken about person in the Bible, though. Yeah. Yeah. So I can see, you know. He's one of the most hated, too. Yeah. He yeah, is. He's a very controversial uh, uh, topic. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, but everybody want to be. Yeah. Everybody want to be him, man. He was on. He was on his man shit. Boy, I tell you, boy, damn. Yeah, <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, it is. Now, nobody want to be uh, one of David's mighty men. Right. Right. I'm Benaniah. I'm right. Joab. Right. Boy. right. Sam. Damn. Yeah. Nobody want to be Samson. What Samson at? Right. 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 <laughs> right. You right, huh? Oh, right. oh, 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 my man in Judges. Uh, what's his name? Uh, damn. The mighty man in Judges. 
Uh, uh, Gideon. 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 Nobody want to be Gideon? Nobody, Gideon. Nobody want to be he, Samuel, bro? Gideon Nobody was raw. Wall 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 hey, hey, Gideon was raw. Gideon had like 80 children. 80 he had children, wives. Yep. He was raw, man. Yeah, he was smart, Nobody want to be jo uh, uh, Joshua? Right, Joshua, Caleb. Right. Man, I'm kidding. No, I'm just I'm just playing. <laughs> God. I'm just playing, man. Say, the way things the way been going in Israel, I wouldn't be surprised no, no. if Samson and Gideon do pop up. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'd rather them pop up. I'm tired of here. I'm, I'm great, yeah, right, right. right. I'd rather them pop up. Let me give me something new, man. That's, that's, all, that's all they know is King David. They don't know about it. They don't know about any other prophets. Hey, those, those, those are the same spirits when King David was ruling. They yeah. was hating on King David. Hating. When the women was like, King David yeah. says it's tens, the tens of thousands. Right. Saul and those other niggas was yeah. hating on King Salt David. Salt. David in, the corner, in the corner like, like this. Damn, bro. Eating up a nigga. And one of them, <laughs> them niggas' wives was like, King David says it. Uh, nigga, niggas still envious to this day, man. Yep. <laughs> in the corner. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> don't like Jake that. be hating, though. Jake, yeah, Jake oh, be hating. Yeah. Go ahead, uh, you <laughs> Second Timothy chapter 3, verse uh, 2. You know we got to crack some jokes tonight. Hey, they have a lesson when I cracking them jokes. We got to have some fun with it. Hey, we got to. Standing have some fun with it. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, Without natural affection, choose breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fears, despisers of those that are good, traitors, he, high minded. That's a long list. <laughs> lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the Most High. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such, turn away. So, no, so we clearly see why these damn demons are saying the things that they're saying. Because the Lord tells us that we ain't going to be in the last days and we're going to be hearing these things. All right, so that's all we need two thirds, man. Hey, if I may add, you know, that's like an indicator that we're living in those times. Because, hey, everything that you just said, that sounds like 2023. It sounds like the times that we're living right now. Right. Yeah. Those of themselves that hate the most high. It really, it really like really like really 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 popped off. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It just got worse. That's when the mask got pulled off. Hey, I, I just looked up that word natural affection. And it, uh, without a natural affection, it goes into uh, hard hearted <laughs> towards kindred without natural affection. And you know, Jake, what does Jake do on a regular basis? No, no, they're quick to kill. Backdoor somebody. Uh, yeah, another, another one of their own nation. They won't do it to Esau either, but they'll do it to, to their own brother. Then they'll put it in a song. Yep. That's, that's without natural affection, because we're brothers. Yep. Jay won't dare go to Esau neighborhood and go do that shit. Nah. I had a quick precept with the back of what the crumble was just reading. This is our second Ezra chapter 14, verse 16. It says, For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. For look how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. So what we were just reading just now, uh, covetous, boasters, proud, high-minded, heady, all of that. That's, that's, that's what's happening, man. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. So Ezekiel, the seventh chapter says that evil and only evil is going to come, man. That's the time we're living in. The scripture says, says, why are ashes? Why earth and ashes? Right. What's to be caught about? Right. You ain't got shit. Right. See what I'm saying? You're at, you're, at, yo, you're at the bottom of the barrel. Ain't nothing to be proud about, man. Yeah, well, that's why the, if anybody needs a God, it's it's you. Right. You know, you, you're supposed to be crawling, begging the Lord, please help, help us, man. Shot. Help Right. Yeah, I have a quick one. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 12, verse 8. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. And it all goes back to who? Esau. You know, he's the one that's in that seat of, of being exalted. Look how he has our people. Look how he has our people thinking. Like this devil so evil to the point where he literally went to the music that you listen to to, to, to influence kids. Yep. Look at your, your Cardi B's. Look at your Nicki Minaj's, your Ice Spices. You yep. know, now these kids, oh. They want to shake their ass. They're six years old, seven years Not old. Not even, twerking. bro. As soon as they can walk, 
twerking. They got their kids shaking their ass. But that's glorified. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guess what, right? So we can blame Esau, right? Come. But who's really to blame? Us. We went off, right? We went Esau's supposed to be doing it. He's, He's an he order. was created He's made to do that. To be the devil. Right. But it's the Israelites' man's job. First and foremost, to stop having children with monsters, right, right. with these black women, right. crying right. about what the black woman is doing to you and your children when you lay down and put your seed inside of right. Right. you. You're, you're an Israelite man. You're supposed to be the, uh, a king, man. Yep. You, but you, you point all the fingers. You point at all the fingers of other. You, you ain't supposed to be moving to the vibration of the black woman or, right. or the, to the uh -huh. so-called uh, white man. Right. Blaming the white. Blaming the white man is about to be old news, man. Yeah. All this information and knowledge is out. You got to come up on the level. All right? Yeah. Stop having your children listening to this bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. When you get in the car with your children, don't listen to fucking rap music. None. Grow up. Right. Have a conversation. You got this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to change. Yeah. You in the car, jet. listen to that shit by yourself. Yeah. It's the book of First Corinthians. It's easy to fucking point a finger at somebody. But you got three point back at you. Three fingers pointing right back at you. You got wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to use it, to apply it. We ain't gonna be able to fucking blame Esau until the chariots come. Oh, the fucking devil, the devil. Fuck the devil. He gonna be the devil. He was created to be the devil. That's right. We are the righteous. We were created to be righteous, to be contrary to whatever he got going on. When he presented the jab, we say no. We say no to all his poison. Right, right. We stand up for righteousness. That's right. right. That's our job. Right, right. So we're not bowing down to what these people got going on in the society. We're not pointing fingers at the so-called white man for him and his uh, devices he got going on. Because the Lord gave us wisdom. That's yeah, right. Use, use it. I said something real quick. You said something that was important. You know, female characteristics. One, the, 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 the worst characteristic a female can have is a lack of accountability, right. and that's our men. The men in this nation don't have any accountability. They can't look back at themselves and say, you know what? Maybe the problem lies in me. Exactly. Well, you're gonna keep making the same mistakes over and over until the missiles come. Okay. That's what's gonna happen. Because yep. if you don't change before the missiles come, your ass is grass. Yep. When you hit them nuclear sirens. You're done. It's already too late. You can keep making excuses. Or oh, anybody can make excuses. Everybody got one. Everybody got an excuse. Everybody got an opinion. The wisdom is here on the earth. That's right. You better use it. You better apply it <laughs> before time run out. Hey. Keep I... fucking blaming the fucking black woman. Hey. But you calling yourself a king? king? Are you out of your mind? Be a king. You the black woman, the black man. Leave her ass. Right, right. Yeah, scripture says, "Give not thy strength unto no, woman, woman yeah. nor uh, unto the, the ways that destroy kings." Yeah. I'll sleep in a fucking car before the black woman yeah. torture me. That's right. right. Give go. a, come on, man. I was going lions and dragons. Sleep my ass in the car, man. <laughs> you better be a king. Yep. You better be a ruler of your house. Yeah. And stop pointing fingers, man. Abraham ain't pointing no fingers. These men in the Bible that we're reading about, they didn't point fingers. Right. They didn't blame people. Uh, there's a saying I used to use in the world, you know what I'm saying? Go uh, ahead, brother. It's, it's in regards to, to excuses. It says, excuses are tools of incompetence, <laughs> and those who invest in excuses invest in nothingness. The Lord ain't trying to hear no damn excuses. He ain't want to hear no excuses, man. When the Lord come no. back, yo, no, no, uh, yeah, uh, uh, zap. Kind of summed up. Poof! Mm -hmm. The power <laughs> perceives right. dust. Go ahead, dust right. I, got, I got two quick ones. You know, mm -hmm. these men need to get their balls back. You know, the first piece of my one is this is from First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse three. But I will have you know that the head of every man is a martial, and the head of woman is the man. That's right. And the head of a martial is your howl. That's right. Hey, your woman is not supposed to have charge over you. She's not supposed to be controlling you, manipulating you, you know, telling you what to do. You're in charge of her. You're over her. And you know this, you know. I saw, you know, like we were speaking on last camp. There's men out here that's not coming out to the highways and byways because their girl going to say something. Right. What the fuck? 
So you're not supposed to usurp authority over you. Exactly. That's what the scripture says. You the man. You got the testicles. Yeah, we not, we not, we not, we not Esau's supposed to be the devil. Now are we that is to say that we're not gonna expose him to speak about his wickedness and what he's what he got going on. Of course, we're prophets. We're, we're sitting to warn people. But we're not you think Esau, you think we're not gonna let fucking Esau stop us from getting on the chariot. Are you crazy? Whatever he got going on is whatever he got going on. That's right. Right? Fuck him. Fuck him. He's in a laboratory chefing up something. Fuck him. Let him be the he's gonna be the devil. But we gotta be righteous. Until in whatever circumstance we put in, we gotta be righteous. <laughs> we ain't taking none of his uh, jabs. We ain't taking none of his MOT business. <laughs> we ain't doing none of that. Uh, MOT business. Right, I say that the scriptures say uh, <laughs> the fair, 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 not him who, who could only kill body, but after he can't do nothing else. Right. But yeah. Fair him who can kill both body and soul. Yeah. And yeah. Hell. Esau created yeah. black culture, yeah. but the black man, the so-called Israelite man, he he welcomed it with open arms. Yep. Yeah. Because if you told these black women, I'm gonna say this every every camp. Because if you told these so-called black women, no, nah, I ain't ain't dealing with you. You, you. you do this. If all you black men did that, then she would get her act together. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. You black men are the problem. Yep. Sim you so-called Israelite men. Sim you you the reason why all these women are dressing like that. Yep. yep. Because if every one of you last Israelite men said, nah, we ain't doing we ain't this, that. Yep. Right. she would have to put some clothes on. Yep. If you told all these women, all the men, all the Israelite men. I ain't dealing with you until you do this. If we all did that, she ain't got no choice but to get right. That's right. Cause she ain't getting popped. She ain't getting no royal rod right. until no no coins until she get her act together. And you right. know, and you know all, who all the other nations have a have an eye and a mind for the so-called black man. Yep. So if he get with these women from these other nations and tell them say, hey, you got to put them clothes on, right? Yeah. When when I the women of our nation see other heathen nations putting on clothes because of the so-called black man, they're going to start putting on clothes. Yep. Like, oh, we losing our men yep. to these other women. They putting on clothes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How we got it yeah. is Esau. <laughs> who, wants, who, who wants, only thing Esau got is money. What right. else he got going for him? He ain't too smart. He got, he got his little rulership time. Yeah. And when that's mm -hmm. up, that's it. Jake, Jacob got next forever. Ever, ever. <laughs> this is the book of First Corinthians, chapter six, verse nine. Know ye that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, neither idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves or mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers. No extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Esau ain't gonna stop none of you from not doing that. Hmm. All right? Yep. Esau ain't, he's not gonna stop us. If you wanna uh, do the right thing, you can do it. That's right. That's right. All right? No matter what Esau uh, pushing out here on the media or whatever, whatnot, it's time to take accountability. That's right. Yeah. And if you don't, you better do it before the missiles come, because right. they coming. Let's look at too was the, the effeminate. Put off the effeminate way, man. Stop being a simp ass nigga for Keisha, bro. Keisha don't like you. She just gonna use you. Come on, man. Simping out for Keisha. Oh, my girl said I can't go out today. What what the fuck, bro? Oh, my wife said I can't come around y'all. That's that's gonna cost you. Exactly. But that's gonna cost you to fall out. Because you think you're more of your wife more than how to please have your father. Right. You know? That's cost the whole family, huh? That's that's it. Because of his inability to be a man, because of his inability to serve the house box from the outside, your whole family's gonna get done with. And the scriptures say the work of the old salvation will fair and trembling. Meaning that you're gonna have to come within the guidelines of what the law wants. You're gonna have to strive lawfully. The scripture said to let no man take, take your crown. crown. Yeah. So you're gonna let your, your, your son or your daughter, or your wife take your crown? The Lord can raise them up back for you, give you more, a hundredfold. Whatever you lose for the Lord, land, women, whatever the Lord say, he's going to give you a hundredfold, man. Man, you got to be willing to sleep in the car, man. Yeah. Fuck that That's shit. That's pilgrims. Huh? That's what scripture say. Yeah. Be as pilgrims. You know, hey, you got to know how to be uh, abound and, and uh, you got you to gotta be like water. Yeah. All right. The bitch tripping. Hey, man.
got to serve the Lord. Yep. Yeah, right. if, not, if not, the Lord's going to force you to become a man. Yep. He's going to ship your ass off to go to war. Yep. 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 World War III is going up. Yep. Hey, it's going up right now. Oh, yeah. Putin, Putin just said everybody got to start having eight babies now because so many people have died. What the fuck is this going to happen in America when we get shipped off through? Oh, no, and American population is not grown. Nah. Exactly. So, That's guess what? So you, you, you don't want to, you're going to have to fight it. We say this, you're going to fight one way or another. Either you go fight for your Hamas, right. your Hamas, right. you're going to fight your Hamas, here in the Middle right. East, you're going to be fighting at the grocery store for the last can good. Right. You're going to have to fight either way, man. Right, right. And one way you're going to fight. It's just which way do you want to fight? We, we rather fight. fight the good fight of faith. I really which care. want to be in? I rather fight the good fight of faith. <laughs> I rather fight the good fight of faith. <laughs> I don't. You have something to say, Kalia? Oh no, you come back up. You get one. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you're going to say about what you're saying, you know, and, and all in all, it's just going to make the heavenly father blameless when he comes back. Because he's giving you ample amount of time now to come out, and you see the prophets out on the highways and byways every Saturday in your busy streets, and you can't, you, you can't, you can't hand, man. You, yeah, like, you don't see them, oh, you, you call these niggas, oh, look at these niggas. Uh, they call us Power Rangers, niggas in, in dresses and shit, but yeah, and what you do, you choose to ignore it. Everybody had an opportunity. You yeah. knocked at your door. Hey, it's you that ain't hard for uh, it's you that ain't open the door. He called, you hung up the phone. Or you let it ring. He said, it's a voice now. It's the book of Matthew chapter 10, verse 37. He that loveth the father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth the son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And we're not telling you, oh, go out here and say, fuck your kids, fuck your family. Because, hey, we got a family too. You know, but you got to know how to deal with your family. You got to know, hey, you got a job to do at the end of the day. No, we understand that we have a time. We spend time with our family, but the most side comes first. Right, yeah, to, to your point, that's why the scriptures say, blessed is he that read it. Yeah. When you read the scriptures, it's going to teach you how to deal with your children, yeah. your son, your right. daughter, how right. to raise them. The scriptures tell you that, man. Yeah. You know? The scriptures tell you to, to don't, don't give them rule over you. Right. Uh -huh. So they got to listen to you. Right. You the parent. You the guardian. You the so yeah, you let them know, I serve Yahweh Bashim Yahushai in my house and my home. If your child is a young child, that's why the scripture said to raise up a child in the way that she go. And when he get old, he will not depart from him. You got to do the job. Yeah. The parent ain't doing the job of raising their children, man. That's the problem. Right. Hey, scripture says those that have wives, yeah, so they have none, man. No, that shit should be like far from your, do the work, man. Right. Do the work. And through you doing the work, your children and your and your whole family, they're going to receive salvation. Right. 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 And, it, and it, to, to add on, you know, and if it don't go your way, what are you going to do? Because when your back is against the ropes, are you going to choose your women? Are you going to choose your kids? Are you going to choose your house? Are you going to choose your house? Because Matthew, the 19th chapter, it says, Bless are those who forsook and forsake the wives, the husbands, the houses, the cars. So it's going to come with, it's going to come to a point where you got to pick a side. Yep. Uh, you got to pick a side. Verse 38, and he that taketh not his cross and follows after me is not worthy of me. Hey, when you come this truth, hey, you got a cross, you got to carry, man. You got a job, you got to do. You know, we understand that. That's why we say this is like a mafia. It's a blood contract, you know. And, hey, when you come in, you come in. You know, hey, you fall out, hey, that, hey that's on you, man. You know, you understand what's coming from you. But you got to carry your cross. But these men, they don't want to carry their cross. Right. They scared. Stop being a bitch, man. You're going to carry something or fight one with another. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You're going to carry that backpack with that rifle. Right. Over there in the Middle East. Right. We're going to fight uh, 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 somebody else. Right. All right? Exactly. Either way. Exactly. Either way. Yeah. You're going to make your body a living sacrifice. You're going to sacrifice yourself on the altar. Which is here, right. or you gonna sacrifice yourself in the Middle East when your house shot get back, right. uh -huh. or you gonna be that sacrifice, or you gonna be a sacrifice in Basra. Right. Sacrifice is coming. That's it. So which way? Which way do you want to sacrifice? Right. You want it the right way? Right. right. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. It's only two. It's only two options. It's either. Well, yeah. It's either you gonna fight for your house shot, or you gonna fight for your life. There's no. There's no. Nothing else. You fight for your life, go lose. Exactly. It's a it's a lose lose situation. Time. So carry your cross, man. All right. Come out here. Come to the highways and byways, man. Stand on business for your hour shy. All right. You gotta suffer with your hour shy so you could be glorified with it. Oh yeah. 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 Yeah.
It's the book of uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. It says, For the Most High hath not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. What's there to be afraid of? Nothing. That's, that fear that you got, it's not coming from the Yeah, the Holy Spirit is not fear. It's not fear. It's not fear. You scared to come out here. You a bitch. <laughs> That's right. Your boss might see you. You a bitch. That's right. You can get a new job. You can get a new girl. It's not that hard. Well, you know, I don't been there about 15, 20 years. I'm sick to get another raise. I'm scared. It's, it's simple. You're not fit for the kingdom. That's it. I'm scared. How many times the most I told Joshua to be strong and crazy? Because the Lord, he don't like that shit, man. Three times. Bro. The Lord don't like that shit. And I'm going to read it to you. Mm. Well, I'm going to read it to you. Rob, right, what's up, man? Uh, Revelation 21, chapter 21, verse 8. But the fearful and unbelieving, and I put, I tried to do just like that. <laughs> but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and all murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters. Yeah, you're scared. You're scared. Oh, I don't want to serve the Lord because I don't want to be out here seeing people. I'm scared of what my mom might think of my, my, my dad. My family's going to disown me. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm shaking in my boots. And all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So, yeah, fearful. Unbelievable. You don't believe. You don't actually believe that the Lord can deliver you. That's, you're scared, man. And with no faith. With no faith. You don't like that. The Lord wants us to be men. Right. Like he really wanna in this time to come, we gotta be men. Right. Uh, it's gonna say to us, uh, the, the, the faint hearted will not be defended. Yeah, you faint hearted. The Lord told Joshua be strong, man. Mm -hmm. I'ma go before you. I'm gonna take care of that for you. You just you know what I'm saying? You stand on business. I got one. Was it on that I'm on? Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 35, verse 3. Strengthen ye the weak hands. And confirm the feeble knees. Mm -hmm. Say to them that are of a fe uh, fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your power will come with vengeance. Mm -hmm. Even the Most High with the recompense, he will come and save you. Right. So you got to have faith, man, that what you're doing is for a purpose. Yep. All right? Because this truth, man, it comes with sacrifice. It That's comes right. with a This is not an easy walk because if this thing was easy, and everybody, everybody, everybody will be out it. here. Like like Christianity. <laughs> I'm a Christian. Everybody, everybody a Christian, right? Oh yeah, I just, just believe on, on the on, right. on the Lord Jesus Christ and we'll be saved. What? Is that easy? <laughs> so I, I could go ahead, I could go kill somebody, yeah. rape a whole bunch of damn children. Commit adultery. Mm -hmm. Commit adultery. And still get saved? And still get saved? All I gotta do is believe in on Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ? On my deathbed? That's not what the Bible says. No. Alright, what, what uh, the Lord told the rich man, he said, what shall I do, good master, right. to enter in the kingdom of God? Right. He said, keep the commandments. Right. He said, I did that. I've been doing that. Been doing that. Mm -hmm. He said, oh, that will be perfect. Follow me. Follow me. <laughs> See? Perfect. So you got to follow your Yahweh Shai, which right. part of following Yahweh Shai is what the brothers were saying, carry a cross. Yep. Being, being tried. Give me the account with um, the sons of Zebedee. Uh, when the lady said, when, this, when the mother said, uh, can, can my son sit on your right and your left in the kingdom? Oh, yeah. You know not what you asked for. That's a part of the walk. Being hated. This is Matthew chapter 20, verse 20. Then came to him the mother of Zebedee's children. With her sons worshiping him. Wait, man, that was, that was a great point. Read that again. Zebedee's children. They didn't say her children. Right. <laughs> it's right. your children. Those are your children, man. That's your seed. Right. 
Alright? Even then, they said it back then. <laughs> then came to him the son of Joseph. Right. The father. The father. The father. There you go. <laughs> the right. the son. Then came to him the mother of Zebedee's children with her sons. She's just the mother. Right, that's great. Yeah. We're just having that conversation. Right? But when you go into the, when you go into the genealogy of uh, uh, men in the scriptures, they tell you uh, this this father begot that son, right. this the daughter, this one begot that one. Yes, yeah, it, go with your father. <laughs> Worshiping him and desiring a certain thing of him, and he said unto her, "What wilt thou?" She said unto him that these my two sons may sit the one on the right hand and the one on the left in thy kingdom but Yahushai answered and said ye know not what ye ask are ye able to drink of the cup that I shall drink of see Ooh. see see that's a part of the walk that's a part of his walk that's a part of, of the fire on one side and water on the left. You can get that too. Hold that. That's a part of it. We all got to go in, the, in, the, in that gate, the straight gate, in order to, 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 to be joint heirs. That's a part of it, but you got people that are scared. I don't, you know, I don't really want to jump in the fire. But the Lord said if you jump in the fire, he's going to be with you. It's the book. No, he has more. Are ye able to drink of the cup that I shall drink of and to be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They say unto him, We are able. And he said unto them, Ye shall drink indeed of my cup and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. But to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom is prepared of my father. Hey, we, we're, we're partakers of, of when we join hands, well, we got to be partakers of that cup. Yeah. Not saying that we're going to drink the same as that cup of Yahweh Shah, because we're not. Right. He, took, he drunk the most. Yeah. He, took all the right? Right. he drunk the most of the cup. Yeah. He did the hard part. Right. Yeah. This light affliction, the scriptures speak about some light affliction. Yeah. 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 Alright? This is light. The Lord ain't asking us to go on the highways and have to 10 hours, right. 12 hours of preach. Right. Out of your 24 hours of the whole day, right. only asking for about three to four. Come on, man. But Jake still, you know? Nah, man. That's too much. Go ahead, I asked you to hold something? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yeah. This is the book of Second Ashes. The book of 2nd Exodus chapter 7 starting at verse 6. There is also another thing. Mm -hmm. A city is built, built it and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. Right. The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall. Oh, just believe in Jesus Christ, Lord. You know what I'm saying? I don't sound like that right there. No, that's a stupid That's not like a mission. Yeah. That's a, it sounds like something that you need to be uh, delivered from, that you got to escape. Right. We were speaking about this escape earlier. Yeah, prepare your mind. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left hand, deep water. Deep water. Hey, You ever been out in the ocean? Yeah. Hey. Or you ever seen the deep ocean? Middle of the ocean. That's, that's, that's deep. Scary, scary man. Yeah, Sometimes uh, it can be scary. Yeah. Last ocean. Wild fire on your left. Deep water. Hey, pearls, pearls on both sides. Yeah. You can't see the bottom. You barely can see what's on the surface within that deep water. Yeah. Only when it comes up. Ah. <laughs> bottom. <laughs> that was one of my phobias when I was uh when I was young. Just getting lost in the fucking ocean. Yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> that boy Castle, I was like shit. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You gotta know how to navigate because yeah, you can't see no buildings, you can't see east, west, north, yeah. south. You're just looking at water, you get lost easy if you don't know what you're doing. All right, you either get burned to death or you drown. Go ahead. So for two and on, it reads, and the only path between them both. The only path. Mm -hmm. It's only one. So 
you looking at the, 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 the fire and then the deep water, and you like, shit. Some people, they, they just sit there and tremble like, man, fuck that, I'm turning around. But they don't know that the Lord is going to give you a fireproof armor for the fire. Come on, bro. And he going to give you something for the water. Come on, bro. He, you don't even know that he's going to equip you with that right before you even go. He going, he's not going to uh, uh, tell you to do that and then not equip you to do it. Right. And who they threw in the furnace? Shadrach, uh, Meshach, and Abednego. Uh, Dang it, bro. Uh, you good. Yeah, get that, Kabar. So the Lord is going to equip you with the necessary tools so that what the temptation that you go through, you'll be able to bear it. Right. So you ain't going to just get all burnt up and all drowned. He going to give you. Christians love quoting this scripture, but they don't know what the hell it means. These Christians think that you're just supposed to live a life of abundance, right. <coughs> prosperity. Yeah. Right. That's right. all they preach in the church. Everything to them is prosperity. All you got to do is sow that thousand dollar seed, brother. Right. The Lord got a blessing for you. <laughs> them niggas, them niggas, them niggas, them niggas, them niggas prosperity <laughs> pimps. <laughs> Bro, them niggas are wild, man. Right. Right. Them, niggas, them niggas are wild. So when you do go through it, you go, you, you just, uh, that shit throw you off balance because your preacher just telling you nothing but good things. Right, right. No hard times, man. As long as you come get this money, no hard times. Right. Come on, come on. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Tell me in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, it says, though, that you may be able to bear it. That you may be able to bear it. Right. So, what you're going to read right here, the fire and the water, you're going to be able to bear it. Because it's going to give you the tools needed. Right. Two bear. But some just look at the fire in the water and they, they get scared. Go ahead. You want to finish up? Yep. Okay. Read it on. Sarah, Sarah. Reading on, it says, and the only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there at once. Mm -hmm. Now, if this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he shall never pass the danger set before it, if he shall never pass the dangers, which I'll a lot of you dudes out there, you don't want to come in, you don't want to go to straight the straight gate, right, yep. just want to go live a Babylon life. Right. Go ahead. If he shall never pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance. How you gonna receive your inheritance if you don't uh, go through the, 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 through the, through the, through the fire? Right. How? In order in, to inherit something, you gotta be alive, dude. Yep. How the fuck you gonna inherit something in the grave? You're dead. Hello? If you don't walk the path, you're gonna die anyway. Hey, something that I like to say all the time, no test, no testimony. Like, you got to go through it together. That's, that's the crazy thing about Jake, because Jake, Jake will go through all the household at work just to get a raise. At work, uh, uh, college, to get a female, female, to get a car loan, whatever. But you won't, you won't go through that for the Lord? So the Lord about to give you everything. He that overcome and shall inherit all things. Everything. All things. But, right. So, but you ain't supposed to be tested for that? For, for immortality? You don't want to go through because you don't fucking believe. You really don't believe. And when we read in Revelation 21, you're going to be burnt alive for not believing. Mm -hmm. So either way you go, the Lord is forcing all Israelites, men, first and foremost, to go through it. Go through that path. If you don't, if you want to look at the path, it's oh hell no, you're going to die anyway. And if you take the back of that, we're free. Uh, second Ezra chapter 7 and verse 57, it says, Then answered he me and said, this is the condition of the battle which man that is born upon the earth shall fight. That if he be overcome, 
he shall suffer as thou hast said. He's not so, saying that you're going to be damn uh, fucking every day. You're just going to be fucking going through worse poor boy you ever. No. But when something do happen, it, it's, it's, it's to refine you. It's to make you better. Right. It's that, to sh shape you and form you into the image of the sun. Mm -hmm. bring out this book to this thing? Yep. Yeah. Hey, it says that if he, I'm sorry, 57 again. Then answered he, then answered he me and said, This is the condition of the battle which man that is born upon the earth shall fight. That if he be overcome, he shall suffer as thou hast said. If he be overcome. But if he get the victory, he shall receive the thing that I say. What is that? The promise, the blessing, being delivered. If if you don't bow to the image of Baal, if you don't bow, if you keep the faith, keep rocking with your Abbas and Yashai right until the end. Yep, yep. Should we walk with him during the pandemic? Right. Mm. Uh, this is the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 7. If ye endure chast chastening, the most I deal with you as with sons, for what son is he whom the father chast chasteneth not? I'm going to reread this. Lord, this is the book of Hebrews chapter 12 verse 7. If ye endure chastening, the most I deal with you as with sons. For what son is he who the father chasteneth not? No correction. Correction is needed. Right. When, when somebody corrects you, you hey, that's love. Open review for the secret love. That's love. Right. You know, you see somebody messing up, you see somebody continually broken up. What you gonna do? Correct them. Right. That's a form of love. Right. And if, hey, if you don't get corrected by the most high, hey, you a bastard to him. Yeah, you know? but in this world. In this society, being corrected is evil. You know, when you correct somebody in this world, it's like, are they going? Yeah, they look at you like you the, you the, you the scum of the earth. Oh, yeah, you're criticizing me, oh, why are you yeah, criticizing yeah. me? That's, yeah. You're not supposed to criticize yeah. me. Yeah, that's, why right. the, that's why the Lord tells you to love not the world. Yep, you know? <laughs> verse, verse 8, but if ye be without chast chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then ye are bastards and not sons. Furthermore, we have fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not matter, shall we not much right. rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? Yeah. Mm. So you're gonna take that chastisement from your, 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 your father, but you ain't gonna take it from the most high? The person that wakes you up, the person that gives you rest, that allows you to sleep, that puts food on your table? Mm. Y'all got the Lord fucked up, hey, man. That gave you your woman, exactly. that, that gave, gave you your kids, that, that you gave you that job. Mm. That's right. Don't worry. That's why the Lord brought the pandemic and all, and all of you, a lot of you lost that. Yep. Why? Because you didn't serve the Lord. And guess what? This next one, you're going to lose it too. It's going to be a doozy. This one's going to be worse than the pandemic. Right, right, right. Why? Because you don't want to serve the Lord. So right. the Lord going to wake He's going to get your attention. <laughs> so if you don't want to listen to the prophets, all right. I had a quick, quick one. Back up what you were just saying. Yeah, uh, Psalms 103, verse 2. It says, Bless Yahweh, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Mm. So, that the brother was just saying, your job, your woman, all of these yeah, benefits uh, what, what the Lord uh, gave you. Second you know? Uh, 16. Did you see benefits that yeah. I know? There oh, you go. Yeah, yeah. That's nine. 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 They, 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 <laughs> you have received benefits, man. Your right. job. Your woman, your children. Yeah. The Lord gave you those things. You know, Jake loved his woman. <laughs> Jake loved his woman, boy. Ooh, my girl, boy. As soon as you get paid, you go give her your money. Right. So the Lord is going to take your woman from you. Yes, sir. If you don't want to serve God. Yes, sir. If you don't want to obey God, he's going to take his, the goodies away from you. Right. Yep. Yep. He's going to strip you from all your possessions, and then he's going to fucking put you to death. Because he right. know in, in captivity, you, when you're getting stressed out, you, you run to that box. Yep. To get that that ease, that relief. Mm -hmm. right. Yep. Right. So, so you're gonna comfort. you're gonna say nope. Nope. Yoink. No more. Yep. Got to no more. No more cookies. No more cookies. Bad no boy. No more cookies. No more cookies. No more cookies. Cookie monster. You know, that's why Esau right. said, "You shall own nothing and be happy." Yep. That includes your fucking women too. Yep. Right. Mm. Well, you can take it. Yep. And your kids. And your kids. Okay. Too much kids. Yeah. And your weed too. And your weed, buddy. Don't fuck out, bro. Jake, don't fuck out. Jake, don't cry. 
Jake, you gonna get no box, what you gonna do? You gonna cry, oh, man. He's gonna give you an AI dog, what's gonna do? Yeah. AI. Be happy with that. AI want an AR. Hey, he gave them the metaverse. Yeah. the goggles on. Hey. You know, acting like you had a show club, dog. That's crazy. The Lord shut this thing down. Everybody was fucking sad and crying and shit. Killing killing themselves. Now, you know, it's like, y'all didn't learn anything. The Lord gonna shut this shit down again. They came out of the pandemic worse. China, uh, it's a lot of Taiwan already, they issued travel advisory. Yep, yep. China already has mass uh, mass mandates already in place. They already got upticks in, in Colorado. But go ahead, finish. They got uh, uh, upticks of cases in Colorado, Washington, D.C. Oh, so it's looking all over again, oh, like 2020. Yeah, that 2019. Yeah, yeah, whatever they got. 2019. Got. Right. It, it's brewing up to look like 2020. Yeah. The, Lord, the Lord gives us a brain. So yeah, we I see patterns. Right? Yeah, Remember, it was brewing up in 2019 at yeah. the end. Right. Right. And then 2020 yeah. came in. Boom. Yeah. Uh, a year later. before the election. Yep. Right. Yeah, right. That's that's right. 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 So we in 2023, a year this before the election. Oh, this shit gonna get, yeah. this shit gonna get live, oh. man. It's gonna hey. get live, man. Hey, hey, hey. Look, the scriptures speak about the plagues coming. Yep. Let's get it. Second Ezra 16 37. Go ahead, read that what you got more about. All right, this is the book of Second Letters, chapter 9, starting at verse 10. For such in their life have received benefits. Read a verse up. Then they shall be in pitiful case, uh -huh. which now have abused my ways. Yep. And they that have cast them away despitefully uh -huh. shall dwell in torment. That's right. Yep, yep. a lot of you going to be sitting in the dark, no food in your refrigerator, hungry in the motherfucker, boy. Because the lights going to go out, right. no internet, cyber polygon is coming. Yep. Cyber attacks is coming. What the hell are you gonna do? What Mom, you gonna do? Mommy! Mommy! Mama! 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 My wife, baby, is big, babe. Your wife gonna be looking babe. at you. You gonna be looking at your wife. <laughs> right. Your snotty nose kids gonna right. be crying. Hey! <laughs> what you gonna do with your family? Then you gonna hear the robot dogs outside. <laughs> Take that chip. <laughs> you are required to go to the chipping station. You are required. Exit now. Right. Exit now. That's you have you 10 seconds to exit the building. Okay. <laughs> Terminate on site. It's a red bean. It's a red. Well, Jay, go, because you know this woman going to be like, uh uh. we finna go. No, nah, we going to the concentration camp. I got to feed my kids. Feed the kids to get shit. No! Like a boss of the heart set. Feed the kids to get shit. No! <laughs> Hey, man. Hey, what hey, you gonna hey, do, you, Jay? You gonna need to deal with shit like that. What Yo, you gonna I do? Go be out your back to take that on TV. What you gonna do? You can't save that. That's right. Hey, look, man. If they take it, hey, nothing you can do. It was already written, man. Hey, but, but don't get on the bus, man. Hey, don't get on the concentration bus. Dude, all uh, Eight bucks. Yeah, we gonna eat some bucks. Hey, apply that on 24. Hey, you see them in the city? Leave. Run, run, away. run, run, bro. Go in the opposite direction. You see the buses in the city, man? Run, run, yeah, run, run. man. Go to the Everglades. Right. <laughs> go to the forest, don't, man. Don't do it. Go to the forest and just praise the Lord. Just go sit, bro. Take a fish and pole with you. And wait, right. wait for the cherry. Right. Don't be right. 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 a fish, man. Right. Hey, boy, that'll catch you with your hands, boy. <laughs> <laughs> make a fish, make, okay. make a fish, make a fish pole. Hey. Shoot, sure. yeah, right. and learn, yeah. learn how to start a fire, fire too, man. Hey, the Lord gonna look out for his men, man. Yeah, of course. No, no, he has some more reading. Finish reading. Oh, okay, this is uh, it's going to be the book of Second Exodus, chapter nine, starting at verse ten. For such in their life have received benefits, and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law while they yet had liberty, and when I say yet place of repentance was open unto them understood not but despised them the same must know it at the death by pain wow okay. how's that death by pain gonna come well, how many degrees a hundred and million degree missiles no we got many give me drum out 15 and 2. we got many you have many ways to die many ways to die Six million ways what, what's coming? Famine is coming. Pestilence is coming. What about dogs? Plans. Oh, the Lord about to bereave of uh, people of children. Children, yeah. Sword by the sword. By the sword. Right. Robot dogs. Yeah. Yeah. 
one of my favorite ones. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm going I'm a con I'm a conjure them robot dogs up until right. I see them in the streets. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'ma keep talking about it till the Lord just keep making it happen. Yep. <laughs> hey, we gotta speak the flags on America, man. Yeah. Uh, speak it. Hey, Robocop. Robocop. Shit. I've seen it. I've seen, seen him in my dream. Robocop, man. That's no joke. Hey, hey the, uh, the scripture says, uh, Sword is being sharpened. That, that's hey. what that's talking about. All of these different devices with Esau put together for that moment. Jacob's trouble. New, newly created creatures. You got all type of shit that's going on. Can you imagine a Robocop right. that can run a full flat? <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey, he got him. He got him. <laughs> I, I, I was reading an article that talks about Esau taking uh, soldiers. And Super soldiers. Yeah. yeah. He's implanting yeah. certain things. And, you know, it's crazy, bro. It's coming. Oh, that's what they seen. That, that's what um, Russia, they Russia they was they talking about. They seen yeah. in Ukraine. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Super soldier yeah. labs. Yeah. They kept, yeah. they kept yeah. shooting them. They ain't going down. Well, yeah, aggressive. when they first went over there to war, that's what they said they was building over there. Right. Super soldiers. Right. Right. And then they're working on this since World War One, World War Two. Well, they put it in the movies. Yeah. That's that's like they were right. He's not ready for what's coming. Yeah, he's going to fight the war. He's going to fight the war. Now he gonna want to keep that young, young G -O babies. They gonna uh, get rifles and, and get sent off. Yep, yep, yep. And they put in the legislation right now. Yep. Uh, Jeremiah 15. Yep. Jeremiah chapter 15, verse two. And they shall come to pass, and they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? What are we gonna do? <laughs> if Sneeko come up to a war, hey brother, what? You know I came up here. What do we want to do? We're going to tell them. <laughs> then thou shalt tell them, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, such as are dead, such as are for death to death, and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. And I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Lord, the sword to slay, wow. and the sword and the dogs to tear, <laughs> and the fowls of the heaven God and it. the beasts of the earth to destroy and to devour. Right. Hellish time, it's coming. Hellish time. Right? Hey, hey, what just came to my mind? What just came to my mind? Like, hey, the Lord gonna really need to keep. Like, you know how the Lord kept Noah during those times. Yeah. The Lord gonna need to keep us, cause. People are gonna be running to us like, what do we do? Yeah. You know, they just dodged the uh, robot dog like a block down. They, they caught you. What's it? You know, they're trying to tell. They trying to uh, get the name. The homo shoe. Man, <laughs> people see us, man. He saw fucking with the views. You already are uh, famous, but they just don't be saying shit right. Right. when they see you in the street. Yeah. You ever been somewhere they just look at you like yeah. they know you yeah. all the time, bro? Because they already seen us preach, man. Yeah. Especially down here. They already know who we are. Whenever the Lord right. want to bring out his his pet, <laughs> right. that's okay. He gonna bring his pet out whenever he he see fit. And you can't even reason with him. Nope. So, you want some fishy? Mm, hey, <laughs> Now Leviathan <laughs> isn't written in in, in in time prophecy, but. If the most high bring him out, then that'd be a treat. Yep. Bring him out. Bring him yeah, out. he is. He's, he's written in the end time prophecy? Yeah. Where? He's supposed to under. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about, about, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about under the sea when he yeah, did the, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Edomites. Right. Right. And they try to hide under the top of Carmel. Yeah. 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 See, that's like it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you talking about the, the elites? Yeah. But I'm saying, like, come out and see, and uh, we, don't, we can't, you know, but getting yeah. the, the no, elites. That, yeah. Godzilla. That's yeah, yeah. Yeah, he saw noses. Yeah. He knows. Right. Leviathan, he's a pet of the Lord. He's, right. uh, right. he's, he's joined unto the Lord. He's a, he's the Lord's pet. I forgot how to. I think it's the Hebrew is Lawa, Lawa Yathun. No, going into uh, Lawa Yathun. Right. Lawa Yathun. Right. Yeah. Lawa Yathun. Woo! The Thun is Dragon. Go, 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 go,
the vultures to devour and the wild animals to finish up what is left. <laughs> so that's the cleanup crew right there. That's, that's a sweep. They're going to sweep it out. Yeah, they gonna clean it up because there ain't, ain't gonna be no ain't gonna be nobody here to bury anybody, so it's gonna be bodies in the street. The scripture yeah. speaks about the, the Lord <laughs> call, <laughs> calling the, the birds for the feast. Yeah, come and come and devour. That's, that's not the, 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 in the in the wars, they're gonna be killing one another. Yeah. All those caucuses, the, the birds gonna eat up. Nah, that's gonna be a feast. Right. Yeah, they're gonna be full. <laughs> they're gonna be good. Yeah, they're gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. I think, big, I think the scripture would say that the birds, they're going to be drunken in their blood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. You're right. You're right. Look at that flesh. You're right. You're right. You're right. I can't eat no more. Can you eat some more? I can't uh, eat no more. I'm full, cool, man. I'm full, man. I'm full, man. All right, it's like 30 eyeballs. Today, tomorrow, and forever. Really? Oh, it's just about the unclean uh, animals living here. Yeah. 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 They just go right. missiles cause they go try and fly up in the air and they come back down. Yep. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you know, and, and, and imagine, imagine the amount of flesh that's gonna be and the smell that's gonna come. Oh, gonna it's gonna, gonna come from all over the place, that's huh? Gonna mm -hmm. It's gonna be so so like blood, yeah, your future blood, flesh. Mm -hmm. Cook food. Cook food. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well, yeah. <laughs> you got some? Who's reading? Okay, good. Hold on, but I have another piece of it. Revelation 18, verse 8. The judgment to America. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord Yahweh, the Most High, who judgeth her. Yep. So that's the plagues once again. Right. All right, we're just waiting on the letter to get saved, and then it's going to be fire power. And now her is, is, the, is the virgin daughter of Babylon. Mm -hmm. This place comes to America and right. other places throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Yeah. Moab, you're going to get your ass touched. Yes, bro. big time. Yeah. You want to be, you want to be, you want to, oh, daughter, uh, oh, Asia, you want to be like the daughter of Babylon or something like that, right? Right. So you're going to receive your judgment too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Moab and Am. You want to yeah. be, a, you want to be a thought so bad. Right. Groupie. You, you, yeah, you're a groupie. You want to be, that you, you, is that one good girl, she the nerd girl. And she see the thoughts, they popping their shit, now she want to be a thug. Yeah. Right, go get yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was just a nerd. Right, yeah. you just a nerd. Now you want to put on yoga pants. Yeah. Right. Hmm. And the precept about the foul, the drunk, the yoga pants. All right, let's close out with that. All right, this is Ezekiel chapter 39, verse 17. It says, Thou son of man, thus said the Lord power, speak unto every uh, feathered fowl, unto every beast of the field. Assemble, assemble yourselves and come. Gather yourselves on every side to my sacrifice that I do sacrifice for you. Even a great sacrifice upon the mountains of Israel that ye may eat flesh and drink blood. Ye shall eat the flesh of the mighty and drink the blood of the princes of the earth, of rams and of lambs and of goats and of bullocks, all of them fatlings of Shan. And ye shall eat fat till ye be full, mm. and drink blood till ye be drunken okay. of my sacrifice, which I have sacrificed for you. Woo. The Lord doing a sacrifice for birds to get fat. Woo. Yeah. Who right. said? Birds gonna have a big belly. Big belly. Right. Hey, man, they won't be able to fly. Oh, I'm gonna just hang out here for a couple, couple of days. Not even a couple hours, a couple of days. That's a lot of food to eat, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, got, I got one more bird. The, the it's gonna make it fat. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be a long-lasting cookout. Right. Yes, sir. Oh, man. No Verse 20, it says, right. Thus, oh, Thus ye shall be filled at my table wow. with horses and chariots, with mighty men, and with all men of Woo. war, said the Lord power. Woo. All men of war. All men of war. Hey, either you're going to fight over there, right. you're going to fight for the Lord, or, 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 or you're going you, you to be the sacrifice over here in Basra. Mm -hmm. Which one? You choose. Mm -hmm. All right? So, no willingness camp. We're going to get all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders and great millstone and salutations unto the elect. Shalom. 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 Shalom.